Welcome to the Futures Lab. So up to now, we've been able to shoot at the Octoboss, but the Octoboss has not been able to shoot back, which is hardly fair. So let's fix that in today's session. We're going to create the teacup attack. In the costumes, the teacup attack looks like this. And what's going to happen is the octopus is going to move from side to side on the screen and various teacups and saucers and such are going to be um, fired at the player and move downwards towards the bottom of the screen. So first thing we need to do is go to my blocks, the reddish purple category. Um, on the left, click on make a block. We're going to call this teacup attack. Obviously in your game you could replace this with fireballs or bullets, whatever you like. So you should now have this defined teacup attack. Put that off by itself somewhere. We're also going to need to add the teacup attack in the top left corner. You should see it there with the other my blocks. Put that into our forever loop with our resting, our pirate attack, our drummer attack to ensure that our boss is going to do this teacup attack. I'm going to zoom in on define teacup attack because this is where we're going to put the rest of our code. So we're going to go to looks, the purple category. We're going to get switch costume to teacup attack. We're going to go to control, get a wait one second, but change it to 0.5. We need a repeat 10, put that underneath. Then we need to go to motion, dark blue category, and grab glide one seconds to X and Y. Drag that out and put it inside the repeat. We're going to make it glide a bit faster than one second, so click on that one and type in 0 0.6. You can change these numbers and see if you like them better, a different way. So we always want the octopus to go to um, the same point, probably, let's see, Y100. So gliding um, 0 0.6 seconds, we're going to make sure that the Y says 100, but this X, we're going to go to operators, we're going to get a pick random, I'm going to put it over the X and you can change these numbers if you want but I'm going to set the first number the lowest number to minus 175 and the higher number to 175 that should move the octopus in random ways towards the left and the right okay and then we're going to go to control look at the very bottom and grab out a create clone. So we're going to want to make a clone of the teacups that we make. Um, we don't have that sprite yet, so let's make that sprite. Um, so go to choose a sprite in the bottom right corner, click on that cat face, and type in octopus. Trust me, this will make sense. So we're going to make another copy of the octopus sprite, but this time go into costumes and delete all of the costumes except for the teacup costume. Um, we can rename this just as one for now. Now what I want you to do is delete all the parts of, actually first what we need to do is we need to click on all the tentacles and all the cups. You can see they're all grouped together. Now look for ungroup. I'm just wiggling my mouse on it here. It's sort of in the middle top of the screen. You should find ungroup. Once you've got um, all those tentacles selected, once you click on ungroup, you should be able to select them individually. So we want to delete all the parts of the octopus, the octopus's hands, its tentacles, its little uh, pink bits, until we're left with just all of the teacups. So then what we need to do is we need to drag one of these teacups into the middle. 
we're going to duplicate the costume and basically what we want is we want um, these individual um, teacups to be in their own um, uh, costumes so delete so make sure that you've duplicated from the original um, and then duplicate a bunch more times this this costume that we have with all of the different cups in it and then what you can do is you can delete um, some of these cups and sources and such drag the remaining one into the middle it's very important that the remaining ones in the middle feel free to take your time with this select the cups that you like the most you don't need to necessarily get all of them just as many as you want and then let's see let's get a white mug shall we is the last one okay um, so we're just going to rename all of these costumes just as numbers one two three four five six and for me I have seven different costumes just gonna make sure they're all nicely centered in the middle yep they all look good perfect so what we're going to do now is we're going to put some code into our teacup sprite so we're going to rename this it should be currently be called octopus we're going to rename this sprite as teacup and then what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we're going to go to the octopus, uh, the octoboss um, code where it says create clone of myself. We want to click on that white triangle and select teacup. So now we have, um, so if we give this a test and I'm just going to move the teacup attack a little bit up in the order so it happens after resting we should have is it makes clones of the teacups but they're all appearing in the same place which is fine we need to give the clones some instructions of where to go and what to do when we create these clones so we've got our code in the octopus that's all looking good let's put some code into the teacup sprite so Go to events, grab out when green flag clicked. Then what we want to do is first of all, in fact, actually no, not when green flag clicked. We want when I start as clone. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to looks. We're going to get switch costume to, and then we're going to go to operators the green category we're going to drag out pick random 1 to 10 and you can drop this over the costume um, number that we have there and so now you should be able to say switch costume to pick random 1 to 7 now I have 7 costumes you could have more or less that's up to you um, or you might even have just the one costume in which case you just need to switch the costume to the ones that you want but if you want to pick random then you just choose it for then you just set the second number as however many you have the first number is one go to we've got to go to motion look for go to random position but click that white triangle and select octoboss we've got to make sure that the teacups when they're being created um, appear on top of the octoboss Okay, and then what we're going to do is we are going to grab a change X by 10. We're going to go to operators. We're going to drag out another pick random 1 to 10. Put it over that 10 and change X by. And then make the smallest number a minus number. I'm going to say minus 10. 
and the largest and, and the second number a positive number 10. This means that the teacups are going to appear slightly um, around the octopus. They're not, they're not always going to come from the very center of the octopus and that way it will look a little bit more natural. Um, then we're going to go to go to um, go to motion, the dark blue category and we're going to get point in direction 90, drag that out but we're going to again make all of make these cloned teacups um, point in a random direction. So how do we do that? Let's go to operators, let's drag out pick random, put it inside the 90 and I believe you should be able to just type in 1 to 360. The other way of doing it I believe is minus 180 to 180. Tell me in the comments if you've got a different way. So go to looks and um, now what we're going to do is we're going to hide the original teacup because as you can see on the screen there's this random original teacup just in the middle of the screen. We want that to be hidden and if we're going to hide the original that means we need the clones to show themselves. So get out show then go to control and we need a repeat until. Drag out repeat until and put it underneath the show. I'm going to zoom out so you guys can see this a bit better. So we want the teacup to fall downwards and spin while it does it. But how long do we want this to happen? Well, until we hit the bottom of the screen. So we could do um, some code that measures to see if we hit the bottom of the screen, but we can also do a slightly faster way and that is we're going to go to sensing and we're going to grab out touching mouse pointer, that first line there, but click on the white triangle and select edge. Points if you get uh, some better code that measures where they are in terms of their y-axis like we've done before. So go to motion, get um, out change y by 10 and put it inside the repeat until but changing y by 10 is going to make the teacups go up. We want to make them go down, and 10 is a bit fast as well. So we need to put a minus number. Click on that 10. I quite like minus 5. Try that. And then get out a turn 15 degrees. Now we need to go to control, and we need an if then this is going to and this is going to go directly underneath the turn 15 degrees but it needs to be inside the repeat until then get a stop all put it inside the if then this is what it this is the teacups checking to see if they've touched the player and if they have touched the player then it's game over go back to sensing grab out touching mouse pointer drag that into the gap in between if and then, click on that white triangle, select rocket ship, and then finally we go to control and we grab out delete this clone. This has to go on the very bottom of the code. Okay, so let's do one test. Oh, the original teacup is still there, but we'll fix that in a moment. And there we have it. The octopus is dropping teacups on us. They're all spinning around, looking very cool. And if we do this again, let's see what happens if one of the teacups touches us. The game is over. The last thing that we need to do is hide the original teacup. We can do that by clicking the hide button over on the right where I'm wiggling my mouse here. Or we could put in a piece of code which is just when green flag clicked hide. Either one will work. So that's everything that we needed for today. Um, next session is going to be the last one where we're going to create a game over screen um, for if we win or if we lose. Um, hope you've enjoyed that. Hope it's going to be useful for making your own boss battles. They don't have to involve a giant space octopus like mine does. Um, feel free to check out the comments, uh, the um, description for some links to City of Swan events coming up in the libraries where we're going to be doing coding, robotics events and technology events should be a lot of fun. 
Um, otherwise, you guys take care of yourselves. Be cool to each other. We'll see you next time.